Today we are diving into a topic that become increasingly crucial in our industry, remote leadership in software development. With the rise of distributed teams and the shift towards remote work, mastering the art of virtual team management is no longer optional, it's an essential. In this video, we will explore effective strategies for leading distributed development teams. We will cover communication, tools, culture building and performance management in a remote setting. Whether you are new to remote leadership or looking to refine your skills, this guide will help you navigate the challenges and leverage the opportunities of remote software development. Let's start with the foundation of any successful remote team – communication. In a distributed environment, clear and concise communication is your lifeline. Without the luxury of face-to-face -face interaction, you need to be more intentional about how, when, and what you communicate. First, establish a communication rhythm. This could include daily stand-ups, weekly team meetings, and bi-weekly one-on-ones. The key is consistency. Your team should know when and how they can reach you and each other. Next, embrace asynchronous communication. With team members potentially spread across different time zones, it's crucial to have a system for sharing information that doesn't require immediate responses. Tools like Slack, Microsoft Teams, or Asana can be invaluable for this. However, don't neglect synchronous communication entirely. Video calls are essential for building relationships and tackling complex problems. Aim for a balance between async and sync communication that works for your team. Remember, in a remote setting, over communication is better than under communication. Be explicit about expectations, deadline, and project status. Don't assume information has been received or understood. Always follow up and encourage questions. Now, let's talk about tools. The right tech stack can make or break a remote team's productivity and collaboration. For project management, tools like Jira, Trello, or Asana can help keep everyone aligned on tasks and deadlines. For code collaboration, GitHub or GitLab are industry standards. For documentation, consider tools like Confluence or Notion. Video conferencing tools like Zoom or Google Meet are crucial for face-to-face -face interaction. And don't forget about whiteboarding tools like Miro or Figma for visual collaboration. The key is to choose a set of tools that integrates well together and fits your team's workflow. And once you have chosen your tools, ensure everyone is trained on how to use them effectively. Next, let's discuss one of the biggest challenges in remote leadership building and maintaining team culture. In a distributed team, you can't rely on water cooler conversation or after work drinks to build relationships. You need to be intentional about creating opportunities for team bonding. Consider starting team meetings with icebreakers or personal check-ins. Organize virtual team building activities like online games or remote coffee chats. Some teams even have success with virtual office spaces using tools like Gather or Sococo. Remember, culture isn't just about fun activity, it's about shared values and ways of working. Be explicit about your team's value and reinforce them regularly in your communication and decision making. Another crucial aspect of remote culture is trust. In a distributed team, you can't monitor your team's every move, nor should you want to. Focus on outcome rather than hours work and give your team the autonomy to manage their time and work style. This brings us to our next topic, performance management in a remote setting. Without the ability to observe your team in person, you need to establish clear metrics and expectations. Set smart goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound for each team member and the team as a whole. Regular check-ins are crucial. Use one-on-ones to discuss progress, provide feedback, and address any challenges. Don't wait for scheduled reviews to address performance issues. In a remote setting, timely feedback is more important than ever. Remember to recognize and celebrate achievements publicly. In a distributed team, it's easy for good work to go unnoticed. Make a point of highlighting success in team's meetings or on communication channels. Now, let's talk about a challenge that is particularly relevant for software development team, fostering innovation and creativity in a remote setting. Without the spontaneous interaction of an office environment, you need to create deliberative spaces for ideation and problem solving. 
consider holding regular brainstorming sessions or hackathons. Encourage your team to share ideas and challenges openly. Create channels or forums specifically for discussing new technologies and approaches. And remember, innovation often comes from cross-pollination of ideas, so facilitate interaction between different sub-teams or departments. Another crucial aspect of remote leadership is managing work-life balance, both for yourself and for your team. In a remote setting, the lines between work and personal life can easily blur. Encourage your team to set boundaries, such as having a dedicated workspace and define working hours. Lead by example, don't send emails at all hours of the night and respect your team's off hours. If you are working with a global distributed team, be mindful of time zones when scheduling meetings and setting deadlines. Remember, burnout is a real risk in remote work. Keep an eye out for signs of overwork or stress in your team, and don't hesitate to encourage time off when needed. Now let's address a challenge that's often overlooked in remote leadership, onboarding new team members. In a distributed team, you can't rely on new hires picking things up by osmosis. You need a structured onboarding process that covers not just the technical aspect, but also the team's culture and way of working. Consider assigning a mentor to each new hire, someone who can answer questions and help them navigate the team's process. Create comprehensive documentation of your workflows and expectations, and make sure to schedule plenty of one-on-one -on -one times with new team members in their first few weeks. Finally, let's talk about continuous improvement. In a rapidly changing field like software development, your remote leadership strategy needs to evolve constantly. Regularly solicit feedback from your team about what's working and what isn't in your remote setup. Be open to experimenting with new tools or process and stay informed about the best practices in remote work and distributed team management. Remember, what works for one team might not work for another. The key is to be flexible and responsive to your team's specific needs and challenges. Working with others becomes easy when you have an effective workflow for everything you are responsible for. And in this video, I explain how to do just that. Thanks for watching. See you next week.